Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Eggy. I know it's been a minute, but as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, this will be a big one. So let's jump on into it, shall we? Alright guys, so, on this video I'm going to be killing 100 Vorkath for you guys. Well, I've already actually completed it, but um, I've killed 100 Vorkath for you guys. I have two left for the video, but uh, I'm just going to quickly show you guys um, my little setup kind of thing. So, I tried maximizing my drop rate as much as I could. I have a triple luck accessory in my pet. I also have my Slayer Emblem. I did the majority of these on Slayer tasks. Um, this is my max range gear that I can use with my Slayer Helmet. I'm also using double luck tokens on every single kill. Um, I bring a Dragon Warhammer just to lower its defense. You need Anti-Venoms. I don't believe you actually need Anti-Fire if you have a Lava Pennant, but I brought it just in case. Uh, of course I have my Teleports. I have Vengerans just because I'm going to take damage anyway, so I might as well do a little bit back to Vorkath, right? And then I have my Twisted Heart and then just the rest food for the most part. Okay, I'm going to do a little quick rundown of what I've, uh, I guess, perfected for my kills. What I do is I Venge up quickly, I guess I'm already Venged, and I teleport away. My presets, you always want to pray mage at this boss. This isn't necessarily a guide, it's just kind of some tips, I guess, if you guys want to kill it yourselves. But stay anti-venom, because I will show you in one minute. If it shoots a greenish color... Oh, I splat. Oh, smacked a zero. If it shoots a greenish color at you, it will venom you that color. So that's why you bring your anti-venom. If it lifts its head up, you want to move pretty much every single time. The pink will drop your prayers. Go away, Mr. AFK guard. And that's just a range, which is why you use Vengeance. The blue is Mage. You take no damage on that. In this phase, okay, so. It will freeze you and you have to kill the spawn. If you don't kill the spawn, the spawn will walk up to you and blow itself up. And probably do like 50 to 60 damage. Sometimes it hits zeros. It's the highest I've seen is about a 62. So make sure if it's going to hit you, you heal above that. Um, coming up on a new phase fairly soon, it's going to reach its head up and spray a bunch of green stuff all over the floor. There we are. So on this part, a lot of people do panic and die because you have to avoid the green and the fireballs. Easiest thing to do. Hit, move five tiles. Hit, move five tiles. Simple as that. Sometimes you may get hit. I'm pretty crap, honestly, even after 100 kills, but we'll see. But here we are coming up on the kill reel there, or right quick. See, kills normally take about a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes, depending on my RNG. But killing 100 took quite some time, so it was definitely, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say right now that it was definitely not worth it. Let's just finish up the second one for you guys. I might just fast forward through this one just so you guys can get a uh, quick little rundown of it. But I want to do this two on bid for you. Don't worry too too much about the zombified spawn by the way. It doesn't hit as hard as uh, some of the other abilities, like for example, the when it lifts its head up and shoots a that, that will one shot you almost 100% of the time. Delay. Just power through here. Hit and move. Hit and move. If done correctly, <clears throat> if done correctly, you shouldn't take any damage. You may hit one. Don't eat. Don't drink a brew or anything like that because it gets you off tick. And then you'll just walk in a fire and blow yourself up a la Akbar. But this is kill 100. And um, let's finish this up here. See, 
my arrow went off but it was too close to me already and just kind of blew me up so it's annoying as hell when that happens and that's kill 100 right there so let's get into the loot shall we what you can expect from this boss by the way here's the drop tables uh, it always drops coins bones and hides for you but then one in five it can drop you more Vorkath teleports so that's good more kills right um, a bunch of junk for the most part and then you have three bags of riches a um, bunch more junk dragon kite shield dragon crossbow dragon plate body those are all rune coinable items the Vorkath head is the main reason why people kill this boss because it makes the Alva's assembler and the best in slot range cape dragon bone necklace it's absolute garbage um, Vorkath pet looks sweet as hell and then visage and skeletal visage so that's a drop on the boss right there boss is fairly straightforward to kill but let's jump into the loot shall we um, obviously we have the 200 bones and hides because we're using double luck tokens on everything we have dragon bolts we have 57 mil cash we got two dragon kite shield well one dragon kite shield drop uh, which sucks because that could have been my Vorkath head and then we have dragon gauntlets some dragon javelins some dragon plate skirts um, 24 bags of riches that's not too too bad um some dragon daggers dragon plate legs a lot of this stuff is a majority or majorly just junk i also got a dragon bone necklace drop so that really sucks that's also a one in 500 drop and then you have the forecast teleports i didn't get too too many of those i probably could have gotten a little bit more but the main or the only reason why i know that i have 34 is because i was kind of ticking them down as i got them as drops because i was using the majority of them But I can 100% say that I lost a lot of money doing this. Uh, <laughs> the scrolls cost me anywhere from 3 to 5 bill, give or take, because I was buying them from anywhere th from 30 to 50 mil each. Um, and looking at this loot tab, I probably have just over a bill, maybe a bill 0.5. But I want to open up these bags of riches. That was a lot of crap. I didn't even get one single yo. Woohoo, yay! Runex, yay! Interesting. So, I did get uh, fairly shafted on the loot. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to continue killing it for the Vorkath head, or if I'm going to just say screw it and hope somebody else gets it as a drop and then buy it off him. But. Here's the loot for you guys. See, I know I probably could have sold those bags of riches for a lot more money, but I like opening stuff. What can I say? <laughs> um, just before you guys leave, I'm going to let you guys know that there is a $20 bond giveaway on this video. All you got to do to enter is like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel. Just like always, guys. So uh, make sure you do that so you can get yourself a free $20. Oh, major wisdom trash but this video did cost me like six seven bill to make so um show your boy some love and smash that like button for me all right <laughs> anyways guys um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys get a little bit better luck than i at vorkath but um you never know good luck yeah yeah if you get a vorkath head pm you'll buy it for like three bill cash <laughs> anyways guys take care